Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look at these beers. This is Beer Mail Package I just received today from my beer brother Rico. My sucking beers. Looks like you got some very expensive wax coated ones here on the end. So let's start here on the end. He has sent me two of these beers. This is Lawson's Finest Liquid Super Session number eight. This is a 4.8% India Session Ale. He said he bought it last week and it was $14 for a sixer. Canned on um, 7 29 19 uh, Lots of makes some really tasty stuff, guys, but being a 4.8 percenter would probably not be something that I would buy. So, glad Rico sent it to me so I can try it out for you guys. Also, from Lawson's, the next one here is a sip of sunshine. And guys, I've done that one before, but I think it's been a while. Uh, this is an 8% double IPA with 65 IBUs. It was $14 for four pack at his local bottle store. So the Lawson's beer has been distributed in certain parts of Pennsylvania since 2017, especially uh, in the uh, Philly region. He said, my area where he lives, they started getting the beers a few months ago. Canned on 7, 3, and 19. And the next one here is uh, from Carton Brewing. He has sent me three uh, different versions, I think, of this. Uh, this one here is Carton Digger. This is a 3.8 salted pale ale brewed with cherry stone clams and a touch of green bullet hops tied together with lemongrass. 20 IBUs. Purchase in New Jersey Bottle Shop for $10 for four pack. Canned on 7, 11, uh, of 19. 3.8. I mean, that's Kool-Aid there, guys. Uh, definitely would not be something that I would buy for myself. Uh, the next one here is Carton Dune Fruit. And he says it's a 3.9 sour ale. Birdliner Weech brewed with prickly pear cactus paddles. Bought it in the New Jersey Bottle Shop for $15 for a full pack. Canned on 7, 8, and 19. Another very, very low ABV of 3.9. So, probably wouldn't buy this one either. Um, and the last one from Carton, Carton, Carton Monkey Chase the Weasel, a 3.9% sour ale, Berliner Weiss brewed with mulberry juice, 9 IBUs. Bought at the bottle shop for $16 for a four pack, uh, canned on 6, 14, 19. So, uh, as much as I hate to say it, and I'm glad he sent them to me, I wouldn't, I don't care if these beers are 10 beer guys, I don't buy 3.9% ABV beers. Just don't do it. So, we will review them for you guys. And especially having to pay that kind of price for that low of an alcohol beer, even though it's a 16 percenter. Uh, for what you're paying for that, you can get a seven, eight, nine percent beer. So uh, this is this how I look at it. So you know, we want to review them anyway. The next one here is Cape May Concrete Barrel, Cape May Bourbon Barrel Age Concrete Ship. Uh, an Imperial Stout, 10.1%, aged in 7-year Woodford Reserve Bourbon Barrels, 80 IBUs, opened in 2011, the brewery is out of Cape May, New Jersey, purchased in a bottle store for $13 per can, uh, sold in singles, and that's a bigger can than the 16 ounce or so, that may be a 19 or something, uh, I'm not sure, we'll get closer into the size of it, oh, he says it right here. Uh, it was $13 per can, sold in singles, no date anywhere on the can. This is a 19.2% ounce can, a little bigger than the normal 16. And it is, you can see that, it's a lot taller than the one beside of it there. So, uh, the next one here, we're getting into these expensive ones, uh, these wax covered ones. Uh, this is from Cane Brewing, this is their stacking cask. He says it's a 12.9% blend of two different rye barrel aged barley wines and a rye barrel aged wheat wine that was racked into 600 liter Panu de Chardentes cast to finish for six months. No date anywhere on the bottle, but it was just released a few weeks ago. So it's a 2019 and it was around $15 a bottle at the brewery. All right, another one from Kane. This is their pitcher in reverse. This particular one is the bourbon barrel age version of it, according to what's on the bottom here. 12.8% uh, old ale aged for over a year in bourbon barrels. No date even on the bottle, but it was just released a few weeks ago. 2019, around $15 for bottle at the brewery. And here, uh, the last one from Kane. This is their pitcher in reverse rye. That's what it says here on the bottom. 
12.6% uh, old age, old ale aged for over 13 months in total in rye whiskey barrels, no date, but just released a few weeks ago, so it's 2019, around $15 a bottle at the brewery. And finally here, the, the last one here from Dark Horse Brewing, this is their Burb Rum, Burb Rum Barrel Age, played the fifth Imperial Stout, guys I've done some of these beers before. Uh, it says it's 11% imperial stout aged in both rum and bourbon barrels traded for this last month so it only at the brewery he believes vintage year and ABV are both on the label and it says this is the 2016 and it's at 11% or uh, like I said so uh, it's uh, a tasty beer from what I recall guys so uh, he has sent me some very impressive high dollar beers here on the end and some very sessionable beers here in the middle uh, so we're going to get these into the fridge and get them chilled out so I can review them for you guys. Speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today.